Time for the tail of the tape now, Alex. Oh, man. I'm looking at the fighters up here. Okay, so Beth Tran, 36 years of age, 34 for Rhoda, 134.9, right underneath the championship weight, 134.9, exactly the same. Five foot eight, one inch height advantage for Beltran. Exactly at the same reach for both of these guys. Record 17 and seven, huge experience for Beltran. Six, two and zero oh for Jose Rauda. Whoa, here it is, folks. Let's go up inside the cage with Felipe de Maria. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the night, and it's Five rounds for the Lux Fight League Bantamweight Championship of the World. Señoras y señores, esta es la pelea coestelar de la noche. Y son cinco asaltos por el título mundial de peso gallo de Lux Fight League. Presentando primero en la esquina blanca. Un especialista en artes marciales mixtas. Récord profesional de seis ganadas, dos perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 72 centímetros. Y un peso oficial de 134.9 libras. Presenting now on the white corner. He's an MMA fighter for a record of six wins, two losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. An official weight of 134.9 pounds. From Clau Clau Quitepec, Puebla, fighting. Straight out of Puebla, Mexico, he is the challenger, Jose Rora. <laughs> Su oponente, al otro lado de la jaula, en la esquina negra. Él es un striker, récord profesional, 17 ganadas, 7 perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 76 centímetros y un peso oficial de 134.9 libras. Presenting now on Black Corner, he's a striker per record of 17 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, an official weight of 134.9 pounds. Fighting straight out of Michoacan, Mexico. He is former member of the Ultimate Fighter Latin America One, former UFC fighter. He is the one, the only, the king of the Bantamweight division, Marco Psycho Beltran. The third inside the cage, el tercero sobre la jaula, Edgar López. This is the show we've been waiting for. Marco Beltrán, the champion. He's overwhelmed every single opponent he's faced in the bantamweight division. And Jose Roura, Marco does not want to, you know, Jeez. no exchange. No fist pump, no sh handshake, no nothing. No nothing, man. He's trying to get as much inside the head of Rhoda as he can. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Welcome inside the black and gold cage. Our co-main event of the evening. A title is on the line. The defending champion, Marco Beltran, facing Jose Rhoda. And I'm glad to be working alongside UFC veteran Alex Soto. Yours truly, Francisco X. Rivera, on the call. Take a look at Michael Beltran. He's just so sneaky, man. Throws a knee right up the middle. Keep an eye out for that. Rhoda is heavy on his hands, man. Great combinations already. Has no fear. And one of the things I noticed is that he's not playing into any of these games to Marco Beltran. Checking the kick right there was Rhoda. So this is going five rounds. Marco has experience. Rora does not. This is it. This is Rora's biggest moment for sure. Yeah. yeah and he's oh. gonna try to take advantage of it. Well covered there by Beltran. Stays in there. Has a lot of respect. Both of these guys have a lot of respect for each other. I think Malta Beltran is slowly realizing this kid's not. Not playing to any of his antics. Now, you want to go back 
into the history books of Lost Fight League. The only man that has been able to beat Marco Beltran, although that was in the featherweight division, Diego Lopez, who's now mentoring Jose Rota. Exactly, exactly. And, and beautifully done by Diego Lopez. Got, got him in a, in a knee bar. But Rota's already just heavy with those hands, man. Left hook, right hand, down the middle. He's got to be careful here. Up against the cage is where Monaco is really aggressive and really, really sneaky with his counters, man. Expect the fly knee right off, the, right off of, the ca of the cage. There's Rona with good combination. And Marco tries to recover quickly. Throwing some kicks. One of the things I'm noticing so far is the, re the, the retreat from Beltran. They're, they're going straight back and kind of leaving them susceptible to these to these uh, combinations that Rauro's throwing. Because Rauro's thro throwing like three, four punch combinations here. And as the combinations move further, you see that Michael Betran gets closer to the cage. There's Rora with the one-two combination. Doing no damage whatsoever to Diego, to Marco. Nice switch kick there. Thought that was really cool. There's oh. Rora pushing forward. He hit Marco. A very aggressive Jose Rora. Trying to dethrone the champion. It's very interesting here. Oh, big swing and a miss on both parties here. Going for the flying knee. It nuzzled, it nuzzled. And now Rora is the one getting to the head. Yeah, he is. Of Marco Beltran. Defend yourself at all times. There it is. First tape down, take down attempt of the fight. Let's see if Rora is able to secure this. Oh, gets the back. Wow. And he has enough time. A minute left, and Rhoda's trying to secure the arm. But Marco very sneaky in these situations. Wow, and Rhoda turns it around. Now, Beltran is complaining about something. But there's no timeouts in MMA. Oh, here we go. Right oh, into he mount. Looked at him. 38 seconds. Oh, right into the rear naked choke. This is what we saw against David Mendoza. He's got a very good submission from the back. I can't see from this angle here. Rodas holding off here very well. Good, he's out. Oh, he's got to get punished. Either way, he has some time to ground and pound him. Oh, he's under. He's under the neck. He's under the neck. Wow. Oh, Rodas in all sorts of trouble. I don't know if he's going to be able to get off of this. Saved by the wow. Hole. Wow, <laughs> that was awfully close. Yeah, and For this might be the, li the loudest crowd we've ever had here in Ooh. Mexico City. <laughs> the crowd is going crazy. Literally. Let's take a look at the replay here. Uppercut, great combinations for Rora, starting off in this first round. Inside leg kicks, excuse me, outside leg kick there. And then combinations there, just they weren't landing so much for Marco Beltran. Then we had our first takedown attempt here. Oh, there's that knee that just barely missed. So the winner of the grappling exchange here, Marco Beltran for sure takes it. And he's, he's almost submitting here a brown belt. Rear naked choke, very aggressive. And the fans are going crazy here. Man, but the question is how much energy did Marco Beltran use to try to go for that rear naked choke, man? When he gave it a lot of power, a lot of juice here. 
Well, here we go. Fist bump now. And look at Marco Beltran, aggressively moving forward. I don't think he wants to go five rounds. It's interesting, he is desperately going for this takedown. Wow. Here we go. Okay, he's got it. Falls into half guard. He was able to mount and secure the back in the tail end of round number one. And he's, got a, he's got a foot on that hip now. He's got to be careful here not to give an arm. Rodo's going to try to get a sweep here with the butterfly. Yeah, it looks like Marco wants to get past the second round. Rora able to close the guard now. He's got him up against the cage. He attacks the elbow with the body. Ooh. Oh, some big elbows from Beltran. And there's still plenty of time going to the body now. Top position for Rhoda being completely, completely stuck against the cage. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, at this point, ground and pound by Beltran, expert at this. Man, he's going heavy on him. See if he can go into half guard here. Rada's doing his darnest to, to get yeah. him off, man. There's the butterfly right there. Okay, butterfly. Nothing. Here comes Marco Beltran now with some more ground and pound. Yeah, Rora trying to secure the arms, but Beltran with a very good posture, good base. Going to the body aggressively, Marco Beltran. And Rora has won four out of the last five. His only blemish here in Lux Five League has been against Irvina Maya at Lux Five League 21. When it comes to Marco, he's been able to steamroll pretty much every opponent he's faced here in the Bantamweight division, including Eric Ruano, David Ooh. Mendoza twice, and Pito Rubio. Right in front of us too, man. Oh. And Rubio is a slippery guy, man. He's, he's trying everything he can here. To get, he's got his feet on the hips of Marco Beltran. As soon as he puts any pressure, Beltran just like, just dead legs it and is able to get out of there. And look at that, just aggressive, constant work. Right in front of, the, of our position here. Rola trying to look at his corner, trying to get some instructions. He needs some support, he needs some words of wisdom. He cannot let Marco be here. Well, the only thing that's been encouraging for Roda, he has not gotten into a bad position here. Yeah, Roda's, Roda's trying his darnest here. To, yeah, he's avoided a lot of damage here, but he's just getting mauled at this point. He's unable to, to really get him off. And Beltran can do this for five straight rounds. Yeah, absolutely he can. Yeah, this Beltran's just so, so active and so agile. Oh, oh he's got to watch out here for an armbar here. Wow, wow Marco Beltran. Raining down punches. Gonna try to move into side control now. An overwhelming second round performance for Marco Beltran. Rora completely unable to counter with anything. He's been able to defend and survive, but that's about it. There he is. Ten more seconds. Wow. And he finished it up well.
Man, Beltran on fire, man. He's just putting in work tonight. The champion, we got, you know, we got uh, three more rounds to go. And he's fighting like this is a three round fight, man. Does he have enough gas in the tank to go the whole five rounds? So as we said, Beltran can do this all night long. He won the bantamweight title against Peri Carruano back in March of 2019. Then lost to Diego Lopez in the featherweight division. Was able to get past David Mendoza twice, once in 2021, once in 2021. And his last fight was in Puebla, June of the present year, against another UFC veteran, Rodolfo Fito Rubio. And that including two canceled bouts against Francesco Patron because Francesco wasn't able to make weight. Right. And how much does that take away from your, you know, from your body, you know, getting ready for that whole training camp and then yeah. losing both of those fights at the scale, essentially, when they're lost. Okay, time for round number three. Alongside Alex Soto and Francisco X. Rivera, glad that you can join us. Third round of action here. And the bantamweight belt is on the line. Man, grappling that hard and then going right back to your feet afterwards. Man, that is tough. You can see Marco Beltran's arms are hanging low to the hips. He's got to watch out here. Rhoda's still very dangerous. Four title defense for Marco Beltran. Oh, uppercut got in. Yeah. Got the attention of Marco Beltran. Yeah, Rora very aggressive in round number one. Could not do much in round number two, but it seems that he's tragedy has changed for this third one here. Nice single leg. Oof. Oh, big knee right there for Marco Beltran. Tries to go into the clinch. Did it land though? He got, the, he got the distance closed, and now we're back down. And that's the second time that Marco Beltran has complained. I'm not sure anything illegal Lopez. happened there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not well, sure what illegal thing happened here. I don't think there was any illegal kicks here. Dude, Michael Beltran's taking some breaths, some big breaths here. Yeah, here we go. And now Marco Vetrando was fighting for that takedown. Now we're back in the stand-up here. Uh-oh. Can the champ do it again? I mean, it takes so much power to try to take somebody down. It's so much energy. Oh, and body shots now landing for Rora. Another big kick from Beltran. Beltrano almost seems uh, tired. A little bit frustrated, I think. Oh. Well, you the leg there. <laughs> nice kick. So Marco took a very aggressive approach in round number two, but he wasn't able to. Put out of the fight. Oh, he got hit in the body there. Rota staying right there, keeping the pace up. I think he's just trying to push him into deeper waters here. Marco just waiting. As you said, very dangerous against the cage. There's just over two minutes left in round number three. This might be the only time oh. in which Marco has been tested when defending his title. Oh. 
That looked like a low blow. Go to check with the referee real quick. Oh! That was sneaky. Oh, oh big spinning kick from Rhoda. Wow, very, very interesting takedown attempt there. Yeah, I agree with you. Marco looks tired. I think he looks tired. I think he's, I think he wanted to close this fight early. Oh, eat an uppercut. Oh, oh he's down. down. Marco's in trouble. Rhoda trying to get into side control. And oh, he's, he's a jiu-jitsu expert. And he's in full mount. One minute left. Into side control once again. Good position here for Jose Rhoda. If there's a time for him, it's definitely now. Michael Beltan is in a lot of trouble now. This would be an incredible situation here. Oh. And he's able to sneak away. Wiggins, However, watch out here, out. though. Oh! Oh, he's going for the ankle. Heel hook right here. No, he was going for toe hold there. Oh. Those are, those hurt. There's hard to escape it, man. He's just isolated on that toe hold. Oh. That would be insane if this is how this fight goes. Now is he gonna switch? <laughs> now he's on a knee bar here. Yeah. We've already seen a knee bar finish. Oh no, now it's deep. No, he's got his knee out. 10 seconds. And Rhoda. Wow. <laughs> My goodness, man. I've never seen Marco Beltran stumble like that. He's in so much trouble right now. And you could see with those desperate attempts to get that takedown, I think his wins were, were taken away from him when the referee stopped the fight and stood him back up after he spent a lot of energy trying to take him down. Let's look at some uppercuts. That's the uppercut that really got the attention. Man, Jose Rauda has got some powerful hands. Here it is, right hand. He eats the right hand. Really stunts. T takes him down, follows it up with a that beautiful right hand. He's got the, the chicken dance. When considering that Diego Lopez, who's in Rhoda's corner, already beat Marco Beltran, how much do you think that can have an influence on this fight? Wow, man. Right now, this is just incredible. I mean, coming back from that, a lot of influence, if you want me to answer your question there. He's already eaten the uppercuts, the power of Jose Raura. So we're in the championship rounds now for the first time in Jose Raura's career. Marco has been here before. As a matter of fact, his last bout against Fito Rubio went the distance. That was back in 2022, or the first year, that was back in June. Oh, he's getting countered. The pocket. Yeah, Beltran just for a takedown. I don't think he wants to trade with Jose anymore. Yeah, I don't think so either. You're right. I think he just wants to get this takedown. Let's get in a dominant position here, which he is. Oh, but Rauda goes right into an attack. Yeah. Triangle on sight. Breaks it. Nice. That's the experience right there from Marco Beltran. Oof. Three title defenses for Marco Beltran. All of those have been pretty peaceful for them. For him. Oh, here we go. He's going for a guillotine choke. Oh, and it looks oh, tight. Oh, Jose Rona in trouble. No, he gets out. Gets in a dominant position here. He's in side control for the first time in the fight. Marco Beltran is trying his darnest to try to finish this fight. 
lost that, and you can just see the, the just not being able to secure that. Well, Rhoda in a very good position with plenty of time left. Three minutes. Man, I'm telling you, this is the kid that nobody could thought he could do it. And here he is, just incredible comeback in this fight. Making it really uncomfortable, just dropping those elbows onto the body. Rhoda trying to attack however he can, but Marco trying to keep him very close. Hits oh, out. man. And he falls into, oh, he almost mounted him. Just about. Yeah. Mar Marco Beltran I, I gave up that mount. But Rhoda just jumped all over it, man. Now Marco trying to secure the half guard. You know, it must feel like an eternity here for Marco Beltran. Going to north south for a little bit. Still, Jose Rora in a good position, trying to get into side control now. We got to tell you though, Marco Beltran does have a lot of sneaky submissions. Here we are, side control for Jose Rora. Let's see if Beltran can get back to some dangerous position here. Will he try to reverse it? Is he comfortable here? Marco Beltran is just so tired. Head and arm here. Head and arm choke here. Attempt by Rhoda. Okay. Marco Beltran defends it. Isolating the head now. Jose Rhoda attacking with some elbows. Oh, Beltran reacting, trying to sit down. Wow. That was just pure athleticism there for Marco Beltran. Yeah. Last minute. In round number four, Rora jumps on top of him. He's too high, he's too high. Back door, escape. Yeah, he got it. He's out. And Marco's just in the position that he wanted to be. He's got 50 seconds. Marco's now the one with the back. No, he's going to do some punish here. Yeah. Not I don't think he's got enough juice to get that squeeze in. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a big shot from Beltran. He heavy shots. Another one. There it is. 15 seconds now. I don't think he's got enough juice left. We are going to go into the fifth and final round. Oh, watch out there. Hit him in the back of the head. I don't know if that was legal. Wow, there was one that was illegal. But I don't think it was intentional. I think the, I think Rhoda moved his head and then he ate and then he, the elbow landed on the back of the head. As long as the fighter's not aiming the, directly to the back of the head, it's okay. We're going to round number five. I don't know how this is gonna get scored. It's been pretty close since round number three. See, the, the corner's asking, hey, look at he's got a cut on the back of his head. How are you not going to call it? So the ref is looking at the replay here, but when you look at this, we're looking at some replays. I'm sorry, folks, uh, but we're now looking at the corners. They're saying there's a big gash in the back of the head, but listen, it could be just because you have a gash in the back of the head doesn't mean that you're not, that it was an illegal blow. If the fighter was moving away from the elbow, So Diego can't believe it. And now Diego is calling out Marco Beltran. Diego saying, hey, you gave him an illegal, illegal uh, hit to the back of the head. Well, Here we go. Doesn't matter. Rhoda's yeah. gonna survive. And he's ready for round number five. Here we go. Okay, no fist bump. No there. fist bump still, man. <laughs> but he was Marco trying now. And he was Jose pushing back. This is crazy, man. I can't believe Marco Beltran's actually shooting for takedowns here. Yeah. 
exerting so much energy, he's going to get caught in a guillotine choke. Our fifth and final round in our co-main event of the evening here at Lux Fight League 29. Marco Beltran with his third title defense once again complaining about a low blow. And that's been the third time that Marco has complained about something. Yeah, I mean, you, the, 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 the ref has to call it, man. I mean, you can't. Yeah, and the fans are not happy. The fans are going crazy, We're just crazy, gonna leave man. it there. Man, Monaco's hands are low, standing up against the fence. Really bad situation here. Man, sloppy right hand there, just, just throwing everything at it. Yeah, Marco will need not only his talent in this fifth round, he's gonna need some heart. Broda has been oh, here we go. Nails. Guillotine attempt. No. Not enough uh -oh. there from Marco. Good sprawl from Broda. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's got the leg. Is it enough, though? Oh, no. No, it's not. And if Broda is out, he's going to fall. Oof. He's got a pretty interesting position here. Yeah, right into the mount. Wow. He's got it. And he's got... Just under three and a half minutes here in round number five. This is nuts. So Marco Beltran had never really been in trouble after three title defenses. Jose Roda has been a tough cookie here tonight. Uh-oh, Ambar. Ombra by Jose Raura here. Oh, beautiful. If he gets this. Beltran is in Beltran's trouble. tapping. And did he tap? No. He's going to try to turn around and get out. It looked like he tapped. He's, out. he's out. now. Two and a half minutes. He falls into the top position. Is he going to try to go for the Mataleo? This is his turn now to really Really punish here, Rhoda. Another one in the back, and he now he's protecting uh -oh. the back of the head. And now the referee comes in. And he doesn't, man, you hit him back of the head. He's got to deduct the point. Yeah, that was, he was not moving around like last time, and I think to your point, that was pretty clear. Yeah, that was pretty clear. That was pretty intentional. That means the ref, the ref's going to deduct the point. Wow. And the way things are going, man, this could be key. And Dr. Rogelio Martinez Wagner, very close to the action. He's going to have to come and intervene. That's probably not the way you like to see this fight finishing up. No, that would be terrible, man. We have to go to the scorecards. Wow. Oh. Wow, so Beltran gets Rhoda with an elbow in the back of the head. I think the doctor has to come inside the cage. Now let's see what happens. I think Marco Beltran is asking what round is this? <laughs> and they're telling him it's the fifth round. But I... We're going to deduct a point there from Marco Beltran. Wow. Wow. This is going to be huge. <laughs> He's having an, an argument here. Wow. There's, we can talk afterwards. A lot of different ingredients making this fight a candidate for fight of the year. Oh, man. And look at Marco. Flying knee right there. Man, and he used that flying knee to close the distance. Let's see if he's able to get the takedown again. Two minutes left on the clock. 
Rhoda trying to secure the arm. Gets the takedown back. The champion's now got the back. He gets Rhoda down. He's gonna try to go for the Mata Leon here. And I, I see some blood too. Getting hooks in there. Just might not have enough energy to pull anything up here, Alex. Yeah, I just, I don't think there's enough juice in there. I mean, maybe for some damage, I mean, some punches here. But definitely not enough to, to, to get a Mataleon going right now. Oh, as soon as I say that, his position is getting better. Rhoda trying to survive here. The hooks are in. Yeah, two on one. This is so hard, man. Marco trying to flatten his opponent down. Less than a minute to go. Oh my goodness. Oh! No, he's, uh, he's, on, he's over the chin. There's just not enough gas left in the tank. Once again, under the neck. Nope, not quite under, not quite under. Just still over the chin. He's gonna have to convert this into some sort of like, oh, here we go. 30 seconds. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, he's at least doing enough to be awarded some points here at the end. Man, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Wow, can't wait to hear the decision. What a fifth and final round. Fight of the year wow. candidate. Wow. Man, what Jose Raura coming out there. Oh, and now the Tran is getting at it with the fans. and Somebody threw a beer bottle. Yeah, there's been a couple of cups being thrown. <laughs> and somebody's gonna need to count Marco a little bit. Now Francesco Patron wants to get a piece of Beltran as well. Up inside the cage. Man, Diego's the trying to calm his team down. And the crowd is getting kind of rowdy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, Francesco's been asked off. Wait, what's off going on? Yeah, Francesco was having some words with Marco. And Diego Lopez comes in and he's like, bro, you, you have to leave. We don't want any more scenes here. I mean, we've been able to keep it. This is our 29th event. We've been able to keep it pretty civil through 29 events. We don't want anything to go down here at the end of 2022. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh man. That was directed the right towards us. That, did I just get hit with some ice? Yeah, the ice got me. So. I don't know who threw it. <laughs> well, he came. I think that the problem is that right behind Diego and where his corner was, that's a Rhoda section. If you can see him right behind them. So Great. And we're right in the down. line of fire. <laughs> exactly, yeah. In a way out aim, by the way, but. I don't know. Somebody had a pretty good one. Landed right there. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> this is so crazy. I lost track of time. I don't even know what round we were talking about here. I don't think Marco did either. I mean, with that point deduction, he lost that round. He was down two. Oh, man, that, that could be the that could be the defining moment. I say, I say Rhoda did just fantastic tonight. Yeah. But did he do enough? Did he do enough to beat the champ? Okay, Joe Mendoza, Locks Fight League president, comes in, up inside the cage. And now it's time to hear the decision. Felipe de Maria is ready to deliver. The envelope that Felipe de Maria has in his hands is very valuable information. <laughs> 
All righty. Let's get everyone organized here. This is a little bit of a mess. All righty. Felipe, please do your thing. I want to know what the scorecards are. Señoras y señores, después de cinco asaltos, nos vamos a las tarjetas de los jueces. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone the distance, and after five rounds, we go to the scorecards for a decision. All judges score the fight 48 46 to declare the winner by unanimous decision and still Luke Fight League Bantamweight Championship of the World Marco Saiko Marco is like, I'm calm, I'm calm. No, you're not. <laughs> you need to bring it down. Marco. You need to bring it down. Marco. Wow. And, and you got the team. Marco. 